Welcome. Uh, in this video, I do the first in a series of fun, challenging algebra problems. And uh, the common theme in these problems is the cleverness of the solutions. Um, so yeah, um, how do we multiply these binomials very efficiently? Obviously, we can't just like, you know, multiply them two at a time and proceed in that fashion because that wouldn't be a clever solution and this wouldn't be challenging at all, It'd just be boring. All right, so how do we do this? Well, um, to start, what we're gonna do is call the product P. Um, and then next, we're gonna multiply both sides of P by X minus one. And why that is helpful, because this is um, this step is the most crucial step in the solution, multiplying uh, P by one minus X on both sides. That's the most inventive and the most important piece in the solution. And why it's helpful is because we recall that um, A minus B times A plus B is equal to A squared minus B squared. That's how we factor a difference of squares. And we see immediately to the right of the equal sign, we have one minus X times one plus X, which we know in our next step we can write as one minus X squared. And it has a domino effect uh, to the right of the equal sign because look at this now. Uh, here in our next step, we write this from what I just said. And now we have one minus X squared and one plus X squared appearing adjacent immediately to the right of the equal sign. So we can reduce those using um, difference of squares again to one minus X to the fourth, which as I said, uh, has a domino effect because now we have one minus X to the fourth times one plus X to the fourth immediately to the right of the equal sign. And then you get it, you get it. This is pretty cool, isn't it? All right. And uh, finally, we see that one minus X times P is equal to one minus X to the 32nd. And so all we have left to do is divide both sides of this last equation by one minus X. And once we do, we're gonna get that P is equal to one minus X to the 32nd divided by one minus X. And here it is. Now, first note that it looks like I made a mistake and wrote X to the 32nd minus one. Um, instead of one minus X to the 32nd. But uh, that's not a mistake, that's intentional because the difference between one minus X to the 32nd and X to the 32nd minus one is a negative sign, but that's the same difference between one minus X and X minus one. So the negative sign from the numerator and the negative sign from the denominator would cancel. And so this is appropriate. Now, if you do long division or synthetic division and uh, figured out what x to the 32nd, x, my bad, x to the 32nd minus 1 divided by x minus 1 would be, then it would become uh, the 32 term, um, 31 degree polynomial, x to the 31st plus x to the 30th, with each term appearing all the way through to the constant term, and with each term having a coefficient of 1. Uh, and that's just working out really, really nicely, right? Okay, cool. So yeah, if you multiply, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, those five binomials we had to start, you would find this 31st degree um, polynomial, but uh, that'd be a lot of labor instead of a very clever solution in what we just did, yeah? I hope you appreciated this as much as I did. Okay, cool, keep watching, take care.